Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, some of you may know, maybe you read my Yahoo Parenting article about what happens when your children inherit the traits in you that you struggle with. For example, I am a perfectionist um, to a fault. An overachiever might be a better word because I don't necessarily feel like I need to be perfect but I do feel like I need to be doing it all so I would say an overachiever Olivia is an overachiever and she puts so much pressure on herself to do it all and to be great at everything and I know she gets it from me and so I struggle like how do I help my kid because I know what a struggle it is when I can't even help myself so I wanted to address um, a couple of things because I think if we have an honest con con connotation, really, hold on. It's like a different drinking game. Every time Jamie says the wrong word in coffee talk, we drink coffee because clearly she's asleep. Okay. Um, I think if we have a different conversation about this idea of perfect or even more than that the idea that we're the only ones who have ever made these isolating mistakes over the last few months I have had people come to me and say I did X Y and Z and my life is over for me to tell you that everybody makes mistakes may not be enough depending on what you're dealing with but I am telling you, just like childbirth, for those of you who haven't had children yet or whatever, haven't had the experience, let me explain what I'm talking about. When women give birth, we stare at this baby like we've just, we ha it is a miracle, but we feel like I'm, this is amazing. Millions of women have given birth before us, but once it happens to us, we feel like we have just won the grandest Olympics of the greatest universe, something like mega, right? Obviously, women have been giving birth since, you know, the dinosaur time. I don't know. But when it happens to you, you feel like you have now done something like no one else has done. The same thing goes with mistakes. You do something and you feel the weight of the world. Maybe you hit reply all on an email or sent a text to somebody you didn't mean to send it to or, you know, made a mistake at work or in school or in your relationship. My point of this is we have all made mistakes. Even the person judging you for yours. Yes. They too have accidentally hit reply all, right? They're just not in the same space we are. They're not a work in progress. They're not trying to actively be better in their life. So they're fine sitting on their throne going, you hit reply all, you clearly are not professional. Um, so I was thinking, what are ways that I am trying to help myself so that I can better help my daughter? One of them is to be honest about my marriage. Do you think the people in my life, close to me in my life, are happy? I'm not talking about Michael. I would never discuss this without d talking to Michael first. But other people. That, we t that I'm open about the fact that we go to therapy or that we fight to make it each week sometimes, whatever. I know that even some people in the Coffee Talk family don't get why we celebrate each week. And the reason that I do it is because I find the more honest I am about my struggles, the more honest I am about my mistakes, the more open I am about the fact that I am clearly a work in progress, the better I do. Because I am releasing the pressure on myself to do everything, to be great at everything, to be perfect everywhere. When I stay quiet about things, when I hold it all in, it 
moves me into a space where I feel like I need to keep up appearances, where I need everyone to think everything is great. All my friends are perfect. All my friendships are intact. My mom and I are amazing. My sisters and I are perfect. My husband is perfect. My kids listen to everything I say. I'm super skinny and fit. My work is amazing. Like zero of that is true. All, like none, that is not all true on any given day. There's always something that needs my attention, something that needs work, my investment. Why do I share this with you? I share it with you because my experience has been both sides. I have lived the life keeping it all in, pretending it's all perfect, slowly dying inside. And I have also said, oh, yeah, um, my boobs, they look like tube socks with rocks in them. Don't let this bra fool you. And my marriage, um, although good most of the time, could be a lot better if the both of us were working together instead of like this. And my children um, are healthy, thank God, but very challenging and loud. I, I think I have the loudest children, like ever. They have two volumes, like loud and then the loudest, like heavy metal rock band loud. Um, I don't understand why I can diet for a week and lose nothing, but I can eat bad one night and wake up in the morning and feel disgusting. Like I'm, I'm just sorting it all out. My point is, the more honest you are about the work you're doing in your own life, the more peace you will have in not needing to pretend that everything is perfect all the time. Honesty is scary. It is scary to look at someone and go, oh yeah, we're in therapy. We've, you know, we're working on, because people go, what? You're in therapy? And just smile and go, yeah. Preventative maintenance. We're taking care of ourselves. We're taking care of each other. It, then immediately the pressure is off you to put up a facade that your marriage is perfect and you go, oh my God, it's like taking off, you know when you go to get x-rays and they put that heavy vest on you and you stand there like, rah, rah, rah. And then they take it off and you're like, woo, I didn't realize I was so thin. That's what it feels like. There is something freeing about living in your truth. I know how scary it can be, but just try it. Try it even in a small part of your life. Like, like, especially for people who are younger, I'm going to wrap this up, but especially for people who are younger, if there is someone in your life who is younger than you and you know they are going through a trying time, use that opportunity to say, you know, I haven't shared this with many people, but when I was 19, I decided for like two months, I wasn't going to show up to class in college and failed three courses and ended up having to take an extra semester and it took me longer to graduate. I got there, but not exactly the way my parents wanted to. Immediately, it allows them to go, so it's not just me. I'm not the only one who makes horrid mistakes. My life is not over. No, baby, your life is not over. We have all been there. Not me, mom. I never didn't go to class. I love you all so much today. It's Friday. I love you. Have a great day.